This video was made possible through a grant from the Haas Corporation. The Geek Group would like to thank Haas for their continued support in helping encourage innovation in design and manufacturing in America. The Geek Group proudly features ISCAR tooling in all of our workshops, videos, and hackerspaces around the globe. Hi there guys, I'm Chris Bowden. And I'm Miss Car Rick. Today here we're talking about alarms and messages. Yes. So alarms, not necessarily a bad thing. Nope, it's just an information. Okay. It's yep. it's just, some sometimes the alarm is just hey, I, I need, need to talk some to oil you. or air pressure's low, something. Okay. Okay. So let's create an alarm. That's an alarm. There's an alarm. Our red light's flashing. flashing, emergency stop is down. Yep. Now to see the alarm, because it might not be, you know, it says, okay, emergency stop, 107. Mm -hmm. To see what that means, you just hit the alarm button yep. right and here. Yep, and it brings it up exactly what it, it is. It tells us everything there is. 107 mm -hmm. emergency stop, this tells you what to do. Right, but it says the an emergency the stop has been pressed. Okay. So you know that an emergency stop here, or if there was a, a pallet changer or something, somewhere on the machine, one of these has been pressed. Okay. And then if you're the operator, it tells you what to do. Mm -hmm. you know, the spindle and all access have been decelerated, stop and power is removed from all the motors and everything. And if you're the surface tech, if you're unable to clear the emergency stop alarm, inspect all buttons. So like if the button is screwed up. Uh, right, okay. a pinched wire or something okay. silly. And then we can go back to our stuff. To clear it, just fix the problem. Yep, and hit reset. And you're good. That's correct. Okay. Now. How do you view the history of all of those? Is there a way to go back? There and, is a and button view? for history. So if we go for the alarms, mm -hmm. and you can you can go hey, over emergency yeah, stop. Yeah, there it is. That's the only alarm we've ever Every had day. right there. Right. So okay, they can be very long, <laughs> and the service man will like to see those. Don't clear them. <laughs> okay, that's it's a good thing to leave those. Yes, it's a good thing to leave those because okay. they can go back and look at it that it was it was out of oil or you had low air pressure or something or um, if it was an electrical problem or a hydraulic problem. Okay. And it's re let's say it's an intermittent problem, it only happens every Thursday or something. For some odd reason, something happens, I get an alarm, you call, the service guy can come in and look at it and say, oh, I see what it could be. And, and it gives him an idea of where to look to fix the problem. And by having all of them in a row with date Dates and time and stamps times, and that, yep. all of that information can give it, him a right. really accurate picture. And yeah, that helps with the service call, whether he's there one hour or five hours. What would you rather pay for? Yeah because the more he knows, the better your day is. Exactly. Okay, now that's, you can go through it and view it by the arrows in that. And you yes. can click through, and it'll tell you, it, it said down here a second mm -hmm. ago, how to go through and view everything. There's, there's a little note. There's also the message display. Yes. So if I press the alarm button again, yep. this is the messages. Yes. Now, it's possible to leave a message for the next guy or whoever. Or whatever, yep. How do you do that? Uh, just start typing in. I want to type in whatever, you so know, Bob. If, if I just type in like, uh, Hi, space. This is so weird to do. Yep. Hi, mom. Exactly. Okay. Now, how do I save that? It's already saved. You go back here to your programs and go back to your messages, and your message, there it is. There it is. That's it. You know, no enter, no nothing. It's so it's there. really that simple. You, can, you can type a book here, whatever almost, you want. Almost, yeah, yeah. That's a lot. You can put in a lot of characters. Okay. Yep. And then you go back here, and you're at alarms, and we can go back to memory. memory or wherever we want yeah. to work from. It's always there until you clear it. Okay, and yep. to clear it, you have to go in and physically yep, delete it Yep, just backspace out. it. To delete it out, we'll go back to the messages. Mm -hmm. Now, if you want to delete that out, you can actually just hit delete. I believe and so. And it'll take out the entire line. Yep. It's that easy. That easy. So, All right, so that's everything there is to know about the alarms, alerts, messages. Messages, yep. All the basic stuff. All right, I'm Chris Bowden. I'm Miss Car Rick. And as always, we'll see you next time. This video was made possible in part by Mastercam, whose CAD CAM software provides the base to all code generated for Geek Group CNC projects. The Geek Group would like to extend our deepest gratitude to the Gene Haas Foundation for making this program possible. Thanks to their generous contribution, we are able to train and inspire machinists all around the globe. Operating the CNC machines in this video risks personal injury and mechanical damage. Hazards may include electricity, untrained operation, airborne toxins, flying debris and noise, fire and explosions, poor shop upkeep, sharp tooling, projectiles, loose clothing, inadequate clamping, automatic operation, automatic tool changer, unsupported bar, over-tightened steady rest, lack of enclosure, and impact. This video was made possible by a grant from the Future Girl Foundation. 
This video was made possible by thousands of private donations from members and viewers like you. Please visit thegeekgroup.org for more information on how you can donate and become a part of our dreams of Avalon.